Right guys, Moshman here, this is Outpost Zero. Uh, gonna start a fresh single player game. Gonna show you you know what the start of the game's like. I did start it on a online server, but you know, people are <laughs> unreliable with them things, the server goes down, you lose everything. So I thought I'd just show you the PvE on the single player side. And that way we know it. It's not going to go anywhere. So let's get into it. So we just dropped in in the top right corner. We got the newbie training objectives. Uh, once you cycle through them, you do the three that are there. Then another two or three will pop up. You just keep going through them. Once you finish them, the uh, NPC pirates will start spawning into the game. And they'll immediately start attacking you. Uh, so you can just do what this is telling us. This is opening my Ivenet tree. I'll just show enough in a minute. Uh, you've got your Ivenet tree. There's your character sheet. You know what you can wear. So your item slots. And obviously all your stats and stuff down here. You start with enough to basically make another... AI unit, so you'll have the one they give you plus the one you make. But I ain't gonna do that yet. I wanna get away from here probably. So I'll just go exploring and see what I can find. So this is a bit of a result. I dropped in where it says home there on the top right hand corner of the map. I've just been running around for a little bit trying to find some resources just down there. There's uh, a lake. It's a fair bit there, but as I looked down this way, I could see these dead trees. You know, they look kind of dead. And uh, I just thought I'd have a look because quite often when I found the uranium fields, that has been what's around them. So I've had a wonder and I was straight on top of them. I haven't had to run very far. So I'm probably just going to build my base here. Going to have a permanent income of. Uh, uranium so it means I'm going to be able to get uranium um, nuclear reactors sorry straight off the bat and not have to worry about uranium running out uh, not gonna have to run anywhere for them and there's almost certainly going to be iron and copper here somewhere and hopefully a bit of silica should be some somewhere obviously we're going to have these juicy bad boys right on our doorstep I don't want to run up to him he's probably going to hit me into next century but when I've got a weapon and some armor we'll have a look see what they do it looks kind of freaky Wish I had some binoculars or something I could zoom in a bit. I don't want to get too close in case I pull him and die and I'll have to run all the way back because I haven't got a spawn area yet. It will spawn me up there, which doesn't look that far, but it is um, a few minutes run back to here. So like an idiot, I've just run around the uh, outside of the uranium lake thing, lake bed, whatever that is, um, to look for resources. Really, all I have to do is press N to pop the blue dome thing up, I don't know what it is, what you'd call it, um, and that is the scanning radius for, for me at the moment, and so when I press M now and zoom in on where I am, I can see what's in my general vicinity, obviously it's showing uranium, copper, iron, so there is copper there, I've run past it, uh, and I would have kept running if I hadn't stopped to, <laughs> to use the scanner. So if I, turn, if I press N now and turn it off, they'll disappear off the map. So it's a nice little feature. You can get a um, um, handheld scanner that you can make at your equipment bench. And it improves the range of your blue display thing. Which is nice. You know, you can see a little bit further on your map then. Oh, there's the copper look right in front of me. 
So I've just been having another little look around and make sure I've got everything I want here. I found some silica, it's just down that way, down the valley a little bit. I think it's like the other side of that tree you can see. Um, got a little bit of iron and stuff, I'm just going to start building my starting base. Oh, so there's a solar flare right now and I'm immediately going to start taking damage because I'm not inside. Uh, it, it won't kill me, but that's what that is. It's pretty cool. It's actually the worst environmental um, attack <laughs> that happens on Gaia that I've found so far. You get different ones, sandstorms, uh, like cold weather snaps, like blizzard type things. They just seem to impair your visibility a little bit. Uh, this is actually hurting me. But it's only taking my armour down, so I'm too worried. So I've done the foundations. We've got a uh, 5x4. Just a nice little starting area. Plenty of room, that. Like, more than enough for now. Especially considering we're going to have nuclear reactors real quick. So we're not going to have to put loads and loads of steam um, steam furnaces down. We're just going to move straight into these bad boys. In fact, I'm going to put them down right now. Uh, put it... I'll just put them along here. So I can only put one down, but that's cool. Boom. I'm going to drop my little bot. What's that name? Diana. Diana. Diana? Fuck knows. Uh, cancel that bit off. Just delete that. Just so when I look on the map, it's just one word instead of two. Uh, this is the menu for the little bots. All the options here. Patrol, follow, harvest, build, craft, and haul. Uh, so he's already harvesting. He's off on his way. Started mining already. And he'll just keep coming back when his Ivenic tree's full. Um, I'll put a storage box down for him so he can fill that up. Come over his eyes. Uh, I'll just stick this down here for him. And then I'll go and get some uranium. While avoiding these swamp donkeys of some kind. I don't know what they are. And there's a Duga. Some weird alien Duga. So I just went and picked up some uranium. Not much, just enough to put in here. To turn that on. Give me some power. And I'll make a... Uh, equipment bench next so I can make the mining drill, make the welder and get get farming and crafting quickly. So while I was busy trying to get the um, uranium and stuff I forgot about all the uh, energy but I'm right next to an energy rock which I've just depleted. It's given me 511 energy. That'll be enough while I sort this other bit out. I've just been in, got some more resources, just a few, just quickly, so I can make a hand drill. This will just help me mine much, much faster. Uh, so I can quickly get resources to make some automated mining equipment. Might be able to make a welder as well. Which I can, so I'm going to make that as well. So I'll just quickly show you, you are piloting a general 
how much better the uh, hand drill is than ha the handy that you start with. So this is handy. That's what handy tool does. And it's quite quick, it's alright. But this is the uh, my intro. Get a lot more for your money there. And I'll do it on this iron node as well. So just pick that up. 38 iron, 51 copper. Nice and quick with a hand drill. So I've just been in, got some more resources so I can finish getting these miners set up. Uh, there's the iron node, and I've got three miners all in one node. And if that rock weren't there, I could have another one. I could have four there. And you can still mine that node as well, or your bots will come and mine it. Uh, and I'll just show you the welder quick. So this is I'll build this one with handy. So this is your handy tool you start with. Um, no, it don't take very long, but this is the welder now. I'll do this one with the welder. It's much quicker. And when you're um you know, when I do all these walls, when I put the walls up and stuff in here, I'll be so glad I've got the welder because it does take a little while otherwise, especially when you do the ceiling tiles. Um, but we've got the three miners going, so I've got a permanent income of iron ore now. I can just go and collect it nice and easy. I'm going to do the same over there on that copper node. And then... Um, we'll start getting ready for an adventure so I sorted my mining stuff out that pile on there is to get power from the base to reach these two this is mining copper it's probably got some in so I've got 149 in that one, 150 don't know if I've got room for this one um, these will have some in as well. I haven't been to collect any yet. So my bag's full now. But yeah, I've, I've set that up, put the pylon down to reach over there so I don't have to put any generators over there. And this is the base that you see earlier that was just foundation to just put the walls up. Uh, I've put a big force field door on the front because the little tiny AI bots the power finding is pretty bad sometimes and they get stuck on the little doors we're playing PvE on a solo game it don't really matter does it so I'll just put the big big door in and I'll just leave it open most of the time while I'm here to be honest um, this is the command centre when you level this up it's going to level up the level of the waves that will attack you the uh, NPC pirates which will start when I finish the newbie training objectives in the top right corner. And then we've got the crafting area, materials processor, equipment bench, machine shop, robotics factory, and two storage units here. Um, yeah, that's it. That is that's pretty much everything that we do is upgrade this stuff that I've got here. Uh, when I need to, I'll put some more generators in. I'm literally at my capacity right now. Uh, I think I've got materials to put another one down. I've got four uranium on me. I'll split this one. So now I've got. 40 kilowatts being produced by them two generators. Um, I've used all light walls because uranium field. I'm not going to run out of power. So I just 
just stuck these and they look nice. Um, the reason I've left these two is just to show you that's a light wall. Um, it's only got 500 health compared to the 1,000 of a normal wall, or the lit walls the same. So 1,000 for them ones, 500 for these light walls, and the same for the light windows. Um, oh, that's actually a 1,000. I didn't know that. I thought that was 500 as well. And normal windows are 1,000. But obviously that one matches this panel. Uh, these consume power as well as them. I like the uh, the normal walls, so I'll just put these in to show you. I'll take these out now. And just stick the normal walls in. They were just win these are just the windows, the windows that actually have lights on them. And that's that's all the building done. Uh, I'll leave that space there for these generators. I've made it too high, two walls high to match the door. Um, if I need more storage area, I'll just stick some ceilings in above there and we'll put some storage at the top before I extend. So I don't, I don't want to spend ages building. So it's just like a little warehouse really. That's all you need. That's all you're going to need. It'd be really easy to defend. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set some turrets up and then we'll start start getting the um, NPCs to spawn so I've just been making some gear this is what your guy looks like this planet is so beautiful. looks pretty cool uh, made some armor. It's got a full set of armor. It's just started hammering down. This is a lightning storm. It says danger, but I don't actually know what it does. I've never been damaged by it. I'll stand out here and see what it does while I'm explaining this. So, this is the armor I've made. Uh, this is a, a stalker helmet, and it's actually almost perfect for the tier one roll you can get which I'm quite surprised with because my luck's normally pretty poor <laughs> uh, which you can see on that which is the lowest roll you can get on it I think um, let me just I can't open it oh, I need to be in the in this bench here to show you so the stalker helmet this way you craft items on the equipment bench. You can make armor, uh, some weapons you can make here, and also the crafting things, hand drill, welder, etc. Uh, the stalker set gives shields and deflection. Um, and the, the soldier stuff gives health and shields, and the worker stuff, which is a smaller set, it's not a full set like the rest. Gives our venetry space and energy mainly. So I like to mix them up. I like to mix what I'm wearing. I don't have one full set on. I've got a bit of each because um, the only boots I've seen so far that increase movement speed is the worker boots. So I always make them. Mine rolled a plus 25 move speed. They can roll between plus 15 to 30. Um, the helmet in the worker set gives scan range so you get health and scan range uh, well I don't get the helmet I get the boots, the forearms, the forearms give health and I have an entry space 1 to 4, again like I said I've got a really poor roll on that, give me 1 <laughs> plus 1 um, and the backpack I like to get because obviously again I have an entry capacity and health I've just got like an average roll on that this is all tier 1 stuff you get when you level this bench up it unlocks the next tier of items 
Uh, the soldier stuff, like I said, gives just health and shields. I've got the arm guards and the leg armor from the soldier set. And then the helmet, the chest piece. Uh, and yeah, just the helmet and the chest piece from the stalker set for deflection and shields. So, uh, the other reason I've just done the stalker set is I haven't used it before. So I thought I'd change it up a bit. But you get a bit of everything doing this. Normally I just have the soldier set mixed with the worker, but because um, we're doing. You know, this is a PVE I'm doing here. Normally, I'd just do the full worker set because I don't really, don't really need the other stuff, and it's nice to have the extra energy. But um, because I'm gonna take one of my little bots here, Crafty, I'm gonna take Crafty with me. I'm gonna tick them newbie training things off on the top right hand of the screen there to start unlocking the um, pirate waves that attack me uh, and there's some um, there's some uh, NPC monsters down where I want to go and set up a uh, mining rig for sulfur because I need sulfur to make more ammo so I'll head down there and we'll see what happens down there so I've just run a load of power pylons down from my base to power these harvesters. These are harvesting the sulphur I need to make more ammo for the turrets. Um, the reason I've done this is because I'm on a uranium field so it's really not an issue. Um, now I'll, if I want to I'll put a couple more down here and we'll put another three or four on that sulfur deposit but four on this node will be enough uh, I've just picked some up off there that's why it's depleted um, and they've already got 15 each already by the look of it just what I was talking there literally just popped them up as as I started speaking and we just got 94 sulfur just standing here. Um, pylons aren't too expensive. Um, they're five iron, five copper. Uh, and I've gone up to 31 kilowatts of power consumed. But I'm producing 80 back at the base. Um, I haven't had any problems yet with any of the PV stuff. Oh. So this has been happening for some reason today. I don't know if it was part something to do with one of the updates recently, but I keep getting fatal error. It wasn't doing it before. You know, it's an early access game still, and these things are going to happen, aren't they? But little bit annoying. So yeah, before the uh, game crashed, I was saying about these pylons, you know, very expensive, uh, producing a lot of power at the base, producing 8 kilowatts, consuming 31, so might as well just run them down here. That's the closest node I've found to me of sulphur as well, so that's why I've done it. But we'll head back, I'll make some ammo, and we'll finish the turrets, and hopefully we can um, see a wave of NPCs before I end the video. But just quick, look how cool that is. There's another one up there. Another one up there. I'm wondering if later in the game you do get to fight them. I really am hoping you do something with them. I don't know if you can like tame any of the creatures in the game or not. I haven't seen anything to say you can, I haven't seen anything to say you can't, to be fair, I haven't really looked. It's just, I'm just trying to like play through the game and see what we find out. 
but um, they do look cool. I do like the look of them. And there's, you can't see any around here, but sometimes you'll see the remains of them on the top of ridges. You'll just see like spines sticking out. And in the middle of the map, there's a big dead one. And there's a hollow skull with a lake in it. And it's one of them. It's the skull of one of them. Which is pretty cool. So you can see here I've put the four turrets down since um, we last see the base really. And um, I have seen something on the forum saying that uh, there was a limit on how many turrets you can have per corporation or person or area or you know, territory. I don't know whether it's true or not. I've got four right now. I'm going to get the ammo for these four and then I'm going to try and play some more. Obviously I need one more for the limit, of the apparent limit. Um, I haven't really looked into it. I had a little look earlier to try and find out if that was true or not and I couldn't find anything so I'm thinking it might be wrong. Uh, but it could be right. You know, PvP it makes sense I guess so you can't just put turrets everywhere, they're not very expensive. But yeah, we'll find that out as well. But for now, I'm just going to make the ammo, and I want to want to get the waves coming in before I finish for today. So I've just been and got some materials to make a fifth turret, and there you go, five out of five turrets placed. So I obviously can't count. One, two, three. Two, hmm. so four. You want me? I'm being an idiot. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Three, four. What's it doing then? It thinks I've already got five. Oh no, it's working now. Oh no, five out of five. I so, say it thinks I've got five turrets already. And I haven't. Um, I don't know. What the crack is there? Um, I'm f thinking maybe. When you upgrade the command center. Maybe you can place another one. But at the minute, that's saying that's the limit. Yeah, four. I've only got four. Unless I'm being a complete muppet. I'm sure I need place four. Yeah. Um, for whatever reason, it's thinking there's five. But yeah, there you go, there is a limit then. Um, don't know how it works. I don't know whether you can... can change... Um, change the amount somehow. I'm, I'm thinking it's five per territory, so if I claim another territory I can put five somewhere else. But for this this bit here, this base, that's that is all I can have. Um, I don't need as many as I've got, really. I've just done it because I wanted to see whether um, there was a limit, and there is. So now I'm just gonna finish these newbie training things so we can get the NPCs coming. And you can see um, 
see what they're like. That's the tutorial finished. Um, Any time now, really, pirates will start messaging you. You know, they'll they'll come over an um, audio thing and give you a load of dialogue. <laughs> Talk crap to you, man. Get your rage in, and then they'll come and fall over in front of your base because the first ones are piss poor. They're awful. And you, I could just leave. I could just walk off and leave this open, and if Crafty, my little mate Crafty, is on defensive, which he is, he'll kill them. They're not very strong. Uh, hopefully, they'll spawn any time now, and we can have a little look at them, have a laugh, have a laugh at them because they're rubbish. Maybe they'll sort that out later in the game. At the minute, they're not. Oh, I've got an incoming solar flare. Is that on me? Yeah, it is. But as soon as you come inside, it should stop. Which it has done. So as long as you're inside and there's a soda flare, you're perfectly fine. I'm just charging up. I'll be needing what you be having. No hard feelings, matey, but I'm gonna be cleaving all you and your friends to the brisket. He's gonna be cleaving all of us to the brisket. Uh, that's some big talk. Big talk. All I've got is a sword. And right here comes the dropship. Um, I've had problems on other, um, other games that I've played since I've had this game. But, um, They've bugged out when they've dropped in. The turrets are already firing at them. I don't know if it's actually hitting them. Because the rock's in the way. But I'm going to go to them because they're going to take ages. There they go. Look, there's one there. Uh, he's taking damage from the turret. And he's dead already. Look, he didn't even get close. Obviously it's a bit broken. I've already got turrets before I start, before I finish the tutorial. That was it. That, that was the raid. There you go, two bots. So it says two pirate captain. And I think the two is the level. Two pirate soldier Gertie. Dirty Gertie there. Fell over before they could take any steps towards the base, I think. Oh, we even managed to kill a little hatchling. You know, that's quite a distance that's shot from, you know. I don't know how many meters that is in game, but it's pretty good. That is a good range on them, you know. They've, obviously that front one's a little bit closer than the two on the top. But that that's what I've been saying with the N NPC wave attack things, the pirates that come in, they're not I'm not that great at the start. I mean, I've leveled this up before the uh, command center to tier two. I've not gone high yet, not a chance. Um, and it was exactly the same. They weren't. They wasn't very strong. Uh, they do get quite frequent. Now. I wouldn't be surprised if another one spawns straight away. They seem seem to do that. He's made me a load of health packs. So I don't know if I've mentioned it earlier, but I've got craft in here so that when I want to make the... Um, I'll just turn him off because he's finished now and there's no point in leaving him on. He'll just wander off wherever I want him to stay in here. So on there, at the machine shop, I've set it to health packs. And all you do is you just tell it you want... I'll cancel this to show you. So you want the health packs, you click craft, and they would sorry, you'd click this box here and you get the infinity sign. Then click craft. It can't make it right now because we're missing silica. But if I had silica um, in one of these boxes, crafty would just sit here making them for me. He'll sit here making health packs until he runs out of resources. He made 36 while I was 
killing that wave. Wow, the turret's killing that wave. Um, I don't need them right now. I just made them because I had the materials and a few times when I've been playing I've needed health packs and I've had to go and get materials to make them, so just get them ready stored really, I don't think. I don't need to worry about it later. Don't need to make any more for a while. I think I think maybe five packs will heal you to full from nearly dead, I think. I ain't, sh I ain't certain. I, I have had to do it before, but I can't remember how many it was. But you you won't use all ten, I don't think. Oh, you know, you won't use that whole stack of ten. But yeah, I, I didn't make them. Crafty made them. He just got the materials out of the storage box, went to the bench and made them. And that's how I made all the bullets. Bullets? All the bullets for the uh, turrets as well. Yeah, he made all these. I just collected them out of the storage box. Once he's made a few stacks, he puts them in the storage box, picks up some more mats, goes back, makes more. He just sits there doing that until he can't do it anymore. Um, you know, the, the aim of the game is to make your base self sustain and make it autonomous, make it run itself. I see somewhere that you can get them to fill these up for you as well. So if they're farming um, uranium, that they'll f fill these up when the generators are running out. Uh, but when I checked earlier, they were putting it straight in here. So I'm not sure how you get them to do it. Uh, I think my other two bots have died. Uh, before I do go off. I said earlier I'd show you the um we'd have a close up of these doogies and stuff that are here. The demon dogs. I don't even know what they're called, they're some sort of hound. And then there's the uh Oh I've got some items here that so this is from one of my bots that's obviously died and he had a whole two hundred and fifty, three hundred uranium on on him. Um I'm going to drop that wood. I can't bother to run back and empty my bag. I'll drop that wood and pick that up. Um, yeah, something killed him here. I don't know what. And my other one died as well somewhere. I don't really bother. I'll make some more. Ah, so he died to this. That. So here we go. This is the... Um, I have no idea how hard these hit. I might walk up to it and one-shot it. It might one-shot me. But I don't know whether they aggro or not find out. I'm quite close to it, it's not doing anything. An irradiated mauler cub. There it goes coming at me now. So he's hitting me for six hundreds. I've almost lost my arm already. I'm hitting him for ninety one with my swords. Gotta keep your movement. Movement good movement. So just about killed him. He was stronger than I thought. So he's level 17, I guess. I guess that's what that number is. It wasn't too hard. You know, when he got a sword. The reason I made a shotgun, yeah, I could make a shotgun and make the ammo, but I wanted to get them ammo, the ammo for them other turrets first. And what did he have on him? This is the other dead robot. Oh, he looted him, didn't I? What an idiot. Yeah, that's it. That's the um, base up and running. All the noob objectives finished, tutorial finished. So we're in game now, basically. That means you know the pirates gonna keep raiding me. Um, and uh, on the next video, I'll go exploring, and we'll we'll see what other monsters are lurking around. And uh, craft some higher tier items and try and work out how the hell you get unobtainium because if I can get it we can make a glider and maybe we can go and touch the flying fish look at it